and I make pottery. I make dishes from clay. Right now what I'm doing is wedging this clay up, it's called. Clay is an amazing, amazing thing. <laughs> it can be used to make dishes. It can be, it's used in landfills to um, seal the landfill so the leachate doesn't go into the water system. It's used by farmers in their dugouts to keep the water in the dugouts because when clay is, is wet like this, it doesn't absorb water. It seals against water. When it's dry, it absorbs water like mat. So engineers and soils technicians and engineers and builders, they all need to know about clay because if you have bentonite, which is the one that turns jelly-like in your soil and it gets, you build on it, jelly's not good for building on. So glazes are where I use my chemistry background because glazes are a mixture of silica, which is what glass is made of, and clay, uh, very fine clays, different kinds of them. So it's, it's basically I'm putting a glass coating on my clay. And um, they, they are different colors according to what I put into them. So if I put talc in it, talc doesn't change the colors, but it changes the texture. It makes it not shiny. And if I put things like um, cobalt, cobalt is, makes it blue. When I want a green glaze, I'll put chrome oxide and a bit of cobalt to give it the depth of color. And iron oxide is used in almost every dark glaze to give it some depth. It's also used to make browns, dark browns and such. Um, okay, so this is my finished product. This is what I do for a living. And I, I really enjoy it because I can use my science background in the glaze formulation and yeah, it's a good right brain, left brain activity.